The Mazda DISi engine can be found in the Mazda Speed 3 and 6, as well as the CX-7. The vehicle we are working on today will be my 2008 Mazda Speed 3. For this job we are going to need a few tools. We have an 8mm, 10mm, 12mm, and for the banjo bolt we are putting in we will need a 3 4 inch socket. I also use a flathead screwdriver. We are also going to need a 14mm socket to remove the stock banjo bolt. We will start off by removing the intercooler shroud from the intercooler itself. This is held on by two bolts in the front of the unit. Once these two bolts are removed, the shroud comes off easily by pushing it forwards towards the firewall and then lifting out of the vehicle. The intercooler is held on by three nuts, one in the back and two in the front. Go ahead and remove these and make sure to save the nuts. To remove the intercooler, you're also going to need to remove the lines from the bypass valve as well as loosening the hose clamps that hold the intercooler in place. Now while I recommend loosening the hose clamps from the top of the hoses where they meet the intercooler, in this particular instance I loosened the bottom clamp from the back hose and actually removed the hose with the unit. With the intercooler removed, we can now see the engine and get access to the heat shroud. This is held on by five bolts. Now, this takes a little bit of time, so I'm going to speed this footage up. Be sure to loosen and remove all five bolts. With the bolts removed, we can now remove the heat shroud. It will take a little bit of fiddling with, but as you can see, it comes out pretty easily. With the heat shield removed, we can finally see the banjo bolt that we will be replacing. This is the bolt. It is located on the top of the turbocharger. This is what we need to replace. Be sure to reuse or replace the copper washers. Then reassemble, making sure all clamps are secure and snug.